Then with that, it's insane. But, I mean, really, it's like he's increasing it. Like, he's getting louder. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta, and I love to talk about perfumes and other luxury items. I talk about men's, females, luxury, niche, all of it. If that's something that you like, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It looks kind of like that. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you are given notifications from YouTube. Okay, I have a haul video here. I haven't done a haul in a while. Um, so I have some stuff from the Sephora VIB sale. I didn't buy remotely what I used to buy. This was the first year in like 10 years that I'm not rouge. It's crazy. I just don't buy from them that much. I just don't like a lot of the changes I've seen over there. So I don't give them as much business but I did get a few things at the Sephora sale um, and I have some new releases I'm dying to share with you. So let's get into it. Okay, first from the Sephora sale, um, I bought a backup of the Sol de Janeiro Bum Dia Cream. I typically buy this directly from Sol de Janeiro now because they have more specials than Sephora does. like. But since it was the Sephora sale, I took that 15% off and I had just been waiting for the next sale. I absolutely love the Bum Dia Cream. It's one of my favorites. This and Bath and Body Works are the two things I use for every shower and afterwards. And the Bum Dia Cream is like a, it's a vanilla, vanilla woods and plum. So a fruity vanilla woods and has like a, a powdery kind of feel to it that I really, really love and the smell lasts for hours. And so I, I got another one. I had just finished another jar. So I, I really do plow through this. And it's good for your skin, yada, yada. I like it because it's really rich and moisturizing and smells really good. And then I went for the new one. I did go into Sephora a few days before the sale to check this out, see if it was something I wanted. Uh, because I knew I was going to buy it online where I could throw in the samples and all that. Uh, this one is, it has lychee in it and it's like a fruity floral. And it's it goes really well with these new candied fragrances that I'm going to tell you a cup, about a couple of them. That candied fruit, this matches really well with that. I happen to really like this. This one, yeah, it's that lychee gives it a candied sweet tart kind of smell. Like, um sweet and sour kind of candies, maybe like gummies or something, sweet and sour gummies. It has that kind of smell to it that I really like. Um, it's not as strong as the Bum Dia cream or even the original. That Those are really strong creams. You smell them. I do smell this one. It's a little less intense than the Bum Dia, but I really like them. Those two are really my favorites. I'm kind of over the salted caramel ones. Like, they're cool in the summer with, you know, like boating or something when you want that beachy smell. But for the most part, I like the fruity floral kind of stuff more than the caramel gourmand stuff. Gosh, I really do like these two. This one's a winner. And supposedly it works naturally like retinol, which I mean, that's only a bonus. It's not why I buy it. It works good for the skin too. We'll see. Um, I think they said it also doesn't make you sun sensitive like retinol and retin-A do, do. Whatever. It can only do good, right? The other two things I was looking to get, either from a department store, Sephora, anyone, who ever had the next sale, was two, well, I actually would have gotten all three, but they had two left. So I got two Tom Ford palettes. I got Tiger Eye and Rose Topaz. That's the two that they have. Um... The third one, they were out of stock. So I'll tell you a secret because I like to store these so that I can actually see the name and the way the names are on here is they're on the bottom and who stacks their, their palettes that you can read the name. So what I do is where the name is right here, I peel this sticker off and then I put it here on the side and it works. It stays. 
And then I keep them in the sleeve. I'll, I'll input a picture. So the name is showing and then I can stack them all up this way in a big vanity case that I get. Just like one of those freebies you get with like gift with purchase. They're nothing special. They're no Louis Vuittons or anything. Just that's how I utilize those. And it's the perfect height to put in that cosmetics case. And then all my Tom Fords go in there. I have two cases and it works. And I can see the names very easily. I store them by warms and cools, just how I am, not OCD in me. And it, it works marvelously because you use your stuff when you can see what it is, not just buried in a batch. And that works for me. So try that little trick. Uh, I'm today wearing, I don't know if you can see that, it's a lot more taupey than I thought and I actually really like it. Now I used rose topaz. I, I made kind of a mess, but it looked, you can see it's kind of a taupey kind of thing, but this dark, dark brown, that like espresso brown actually blends out really, let's see if you can see, blends out really nicely that it's, it smokes out that it's not this really dark chocolate, but I was really gentle with the brush in there. Um, a couple of subscribers had told me you have to get your hands on these and I'm a Tom Ford junkie anyway. I mean, I can tell you 90% of the time I wear Tom Ford palettes, even though I have drawers and drawers, like you'd think I was a makeup YouTuber with how much I have, I've actually had a stop. Kerastase, I love Kerastase for my hair. Um, wish I'd used that today. Ever like dig through your stuff where you're like, oh, let me try this. Like this has been in the drawer forever. And you like rotating to put it in your shower. And I'm like in a world of regret, this conditioner sucks. Do you see like how flat my hair is? Like it's been two days and I can't get it right. I tried washing it again with something else and it's still just so over conditioned. This pure Lano hydrating hair mask. Oh well, it'll it'll pass. It'll there's worse things in this world, right? I mean, ugh. I don't know, but the Kerastaz one, which one are you? Curl Manifesto, which is fine. I have straight hair, but that's fine. I actually like all of them. I actually um, love the one made for like curly kinky hair, even though I have straight fine hair. It works for me. I also got a Zaharoff order. I actually ordered a bunch of stuff. If you haven't seen the video, I will link it down below. I will link it up here. Uh, I was really surprised. I really like them. And for me, the tobacco is amazing. Sweet tobacco fragrance. Like my whole package smelled of the tobacco. And then I really wanted to try the new citrine, which I'm in love with. Like this is super neutral, super any age, any demographic, any gender. Uh, there's no like heavy oak moss or vetivers or sharp citruses driving it masculine. There's also no florals driving it feminine. I really like this. And with parents from Germany, where I grew up with 4711, like coming out of the faucets, like, like 4711 could do no wrong in my family. My mother still swears by it. Every fragrance. That's nice. I like my 4711 better. Okay. I sprayed this on her. I came downstairs I'm like, mom, you're going to love this. I found a fragrance for you. And she loves it. Loves, loves, loves. She thought it'd be cute on a little girl, even her first new fragrance. It's great on a man. It's very fresh. It's great on a woman. Like this is, I'm impressed, man. This is a good one. It's just a great fresh citrus, but not too sharp. Doesn't have that like neroli scratchiness. It doesn't have like, um, like the Creed citruses can be really sharp and bracing that make them feel very masculine. It's softer. Beautiful, beautiful summer, daytime, crisp fragrance. This is beautiful, perfect for a hot day or like work or a workout. This is a great gym one because it's an amazing freshie, perfect freshie. Can't go wrong with this one. It's light. You could also mix with this one. This is great for layering to give vibrancy to a fragrance, to give it a little more levity and like break it up. This is a little workhorse. I'm digging this one. This was brilliant, George. Brilliant. I like it. I like it. And then um, for my guy, I mean, I really like this tobacco, man. I really, really like tobacco. This one is so good. Um, I'm really funny with my tobaccos, but this is a sweet one, but it's not this deep, rich, uh, like tobacco vini is really heavy, rich, definitely cool night kind of weather. This one feels a little more year round to me. 
but it's a it's a sweet one like the whole box smelled like this and I was so happy and the new thing that I'm excited about is my guy no longer has to smell like Bath and Body Works strawberry fields or whatever taking a shower because of the body wash in there or the lotions he's tried to grab some really fruity ones after the shower he's like oh do you some lotion I just need some lotion I'm like no don't grab that you are gonna smell like a fruit tart and I know you you don't want that He's like, I just need a little lotion. I'm like, I know, it's highly scented. You don't want that one. George has the tobacco in shower gel and lotion now. So I'm super excited because this is an amazing scent. Uh, plus it looks super luxe. Like, check this out. Loving this packaging. Like this looks really high end, right? I dig it, I dig it. It's a little bundle and comes with the soap. You can buy them individually. Some of the pieces weren't available, so I got the bundle too. Bar soap, super great. You can keep this on the boat because I don't have to worry about anything getting skunked. It's super fragrant, but just a bar of soap. Whereas I don't like to leave fragrances on the boat or anything because of the like incredible humidity there. It just, it will, it will kill a bottle instantly. It smells so good. And a little bit of aftershave splash. That's another thing he asks me for. Like, is there any aftershave? I'm like, after what? I'm sorry, I have like 500 fragrances. What do you need? He's like, no, aftershave. I need aftershave. Here I am like, total girl, like, um, you mean some fragrance? What's the difference? Spray some cologne? But no, he wants like the brisk splash. It's something he every now and then gets a hankering for, so now I can tell him, I have aftershave for you. I know, it sounds silly, all the stuff I have. And bar soap kind of shave stuff. I don't think he really uses this, but, oh wow, check that out. Check out that texture. You're supposed to use the brush with it, which he doesn't use. Maybe I'll just have him be like a Neanderthal and use his hands in there. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But he's not fancy with the brush and everything. It's kind of simple like that. Um, I don't know, sometimes he gets in these little bougie moods but I think he could just be a little Neanderthal. I don't know, but I'm super excited about all that. And then I got the House of Siage Batman part two. I'm so excited. I got the second half of the collection. So you saw me, I got the candle, which smells like Hero, the cupcake fragrance. But when you light, I did get a chance to light it. You can see I've been using it in the bathroom it does give this Gotham City kind of backdrop smell to it. It's hero fragrance in the room with this background smells of like cars racing down the road where you can hear them like leaving rubber and like smoke and that like smoky kind of um, fog that you would expect around Batman in Gotham City. And it, but it's not strong and overpowering. It's this, it's this subtle background hint where you question your sanity if you smell it or not. It's like that, it's subtle, but just enough to give a vibe without being overwhelmingly kind of gross, right? Cause that would be gross, but it's primarily this with this subtle background smell. It's really so good. And these really do fill the room. Um, so I do have another video. You heard me go through Hero. What I wanna do is Vengeance, which I'm so excited to get. I love their men's fragrances. And it comes in a box like this. It has the bats all over it. Vengeance, and this is an extra 20% perfume made in France. Box slides up. Um, well, if you're trying to put this back in the box, you should notice that there is a slant on the inside of the box so that it only goes one way. I played with it for like five minutes, like an idiot to figure that out, trying to put it back together, just so you know. And I'm really, like I said before, hoping that this is a sign they're gonna do more men's fragrances because I think they do them so well and I absolutely love, love, love their men's packaging because what guy doesn't love gadgets? I mean, I even like them. I mean, oh, I'm using the wrong hand, I'm a righty. You got like the button, spray, a great sprayer too, by the way, look at that. And then do this. And like, what guy doesn't like this? Like if you like Zippos, I mean, every guy I know 
is fascinated by this. I'm even fascinated by it. It's like the person playing with the clicker on a pen, right? Like, it's fun, but the smells amazing. So have both of them. There's like an 80% common denominator here. They're both unisex. This leans feminine, this leans masculine, and they share the same DNA and a lot of the same notes. They really do smell like sisters. Siblings? Brother, sister. They really smell like fraternal brother and sister, like fraternal twins is what they smell like. They just have a little bit of difference. This has a little bit of, well, no, a lot. This, they really loaded up the oak moss in here with the vetiver to really lean into the masculine a little more. This one leans in with that candied fruit to give it that more feminine edge. But they have that common denominator like jasmine in here and This one has that hint of sweetness. There's vanilla in here and there's like tonka bean. I'll put the notes up, but it has this sweetness. And what's really funny is I still kind of, I can identify that candied apple that's in here, even though it's not listed in here. There's so much in common. I kind of get that. I love this one. Um, I, they, do they really just, they hit it out of the park with these two. They're so good. I, I'm really bummed that they are limited edition because as many House of Siege as I have, I think I need backups of this because they're both phenomenal. Like there's something fresh about the Oak Moss and Vetiver in here. Typically Oak Mosses do, or, you know, that Oak Moss Vetiver smell gives that classic men's fragrance smell to it. This one definitely smells more feminine though. Like this one, I, I choose over this one because it has that more feminine edge for sure. But man, I'm so happy for this one. And I love this packaging. I can't like, yeah, I love it. Um, so I'm trying to get more of their men's fragrances because I really like them. Their first launch was pretty safe. So I'm really, really hoping that they do some more men's fragrances. They've done a lot of the cupcakes and I really want to see more men's because they're killing it. Like they're doing really well. And with that, I also got the lippy, which comes in a package like this with your authenticity card. There is a polishing cloth. You have your lipstick and the case comes in here. This is the lipstick refill. So the lipstick refills come in here. This is how you purchase them. And if you take the top off, you'll see it has this little safety cap. This white part is what turns the lipstick up, but in order to handle it, you just wanna keep this here so you don't smudge the lipstick. And in this case, oh my gosh, look at that. It says Batman on this case. How cool is that? And it's this like black leathery, is this leather? I, feel, I think this is leather. Oh my gosh. When you open it up, you'll see that it has a little pouch in here that also says Batman. This is the lipstick case. Open it up and you have House of Siage and the bat. It's on both sides. All the Swarovski crystals. I just find this so stunning. This bow, Swarovski crystals all throughout. So what you do, open the case. This is where you just pop it in. You can take this cap off. Oops. Snap it in, just push down, take this cap off. If it doesn't go together, you have it rotated 180 wrong. Then you have your lipstick case. This looks like this brick red. But as you can see, there's a little more pink to it. It's more of a neutral than you think. I love how easy these are to put on. They're so forgiving. I can put them on blindly without a mirror and it's soft like chapstick. I have drawers and drawers of lipstick. I will put in a picture here. Like I have a lot of lipstick. I keep drawers for like my nudes, my corals, my pinks, my reds, my vampy colors and separate vampy with like purple vampy and brick red vampy. I have a lot, but I, 
only wear House of Siage now and MAC Cream Cup, which House of Siage Baron is pretty close to Cream Cup. Cream Cup's a little bit lighter, just a touch lighter, but this is all I wear now because they last forever. I'm not the kind of girly girl that, I'm a girly girl, but I don't like having to fuss with my lipstick 17 times a day. I just won't. That's why I have so much. I don't use them because I put it on when I leave and I really don't like to have to apply it after I have a drink or after I have something to eat or after I do this and that, after I talk a lot. Like I feel like they just vanish. These last forever and you don't feel them on your skin. So I'm super, super excited for this. Like this is a great red. I have very yellow skin and when I when I wear reds, whew, I have to be so careful because yellow undertone reds do not look good on me at all, like at all. And then they make my teeth yellow. These, this doesn't make my teeth yellow, even though it looks like a brick red. It's actually way more neutral than I expected. And I think it looks pretty darn good. Don't you think? I mean, I think. I ordered some Aaron Terrence Hughes. And when you order from him, he always puts samples in the box and he will put his new releases that are coming out in the future in there. It's kind of like these teasers where he lets people get samples of them, which I think is so cool. So I have High Voltage and Hard Candy. Hard Candy will be out the end of May and I think High Voltage at the same time. Uh, high Voltage is masculine for sure. It is that, again, that oak mossy vetiver citrus kind of fragrance opens with a bang. I love it. I love it. It then settles down, is more smooth, but it's definitely that citrusy, aromatic, with a punch kind of smell that is right up there with guapo in my book. Um, pretty impressed with this one, but definitely masculine. I, I think this one's masculine. Uh, hard candy, I was mad in love with. I, I literally like looked right over this guy's head and went straight for hard candy, wore this hiking with the dogs and to check it out. Oh my gosh, the swirl around me. I couldn't put my finger on the fruit that was in here. And that's because he told me there's a whole bunch of fruit. It's like Starburst was actually his inspiration, which you know is a whole bunch of fruit in Starburst. Um, and this boiled pineapple in there along with the strawberry and cherry and all that. And it is so good. And it literally smells like hard candies. Oh my gosh. And then you have like this like tonka creamy sandalwood base. Um, I'm in love with this one and it just it was so perfect being outside like with this swirling around me and since I was walking the dogs my body heat was amping up and sending it out further his projection and longevity is to kill is to die for this definitely goes to the top of the rankings for women Aaron Terrence Hughes you do have to like his personal DNA if his DNA of that like muskiness he, he uses a certain, there's like this sexy muskiness to his fragrances that you have to be okay with if, you know, if that's your style, because this definitely has that typical Aaron Terrence Hughes DNA to it. I happen to really like it and find it sexy and sultry. So I love it and I can't wait to get a full bottle of this one. Um, I think I'd like this on my guy for sure. I wouldn't mind adding this one to my collection too but I would put this on my guy, the high voltage, um, just like Guapo. I don't wear that either, but I definitely spray my guy down on that one. Hard candy, I cannot wait to get my hands on. Um, I'm liking it kind of like Hero has that candied apple in there. There's that same type of candied fruit sweetness in here. I mean, is that for real? It, for real? Like, is it as soon as I talk, he just amps it up? This has that same kind of candied fruit, like this has a candied apple sweetness in it. Um, candy Oud by Raja, which I also said was like a candied fruit with like a mild moderate Oud in it. That same kind of candied fruit sweetness that I really like. Um, I'm finding that kind of get a little trendy and I'm loving it. I like that. It's a different sweetness where, you know, for a long time there was that like Baccarat Rouge type of sweetness, right? which is cool. It's very like specific. I'm liking this candied fruit sweetness better. There's something really yummy about it, but it's also not 
such a gourmand that it makes me hungry because I don't like that kind of gourmand that much. I mean, my gosh, I'm always hungry as it is. I don't need help with my appetite to be truthful. Okay, that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of good stuff that I got here. Some cool new stuff that came in that I was excited to feature. Some of it I've had for a little bit, but I was waiting for all of this to roll in so that I could just do one big video with it all. Um, obviously I've had the Sephora stuff for a while too, but I just wanted to put it all in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, big thumbs up, subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.